Hello girls and boys. Welcome back to Read Me a Story. I'm Pat Casera, and welcome also to my grandchildren, Max, Theo, Josephine, Charlotte, Penelope, and Simon. I'm reading still the series about Pooh Bear, so I'm going to continue with another one today. But first I'm going to tell you about my book. I wrote it, so I'm the author. I wrote this book after I finished 50 years of teaching in the classroom. I wrote it for parents and for teachers, and it's called Tips and Tidbits for Parents and Teachers. Your parents can get it from amazonbook.com, and it will help them to help you with your work at school, and they will learn many, many things about what I learned in the classroom. All right, so we're going to um, do a, probably one of the most famous of the Pooh Bear books, Tigger Hates to Lose. <clears throat> this is all about the Pooh Sticks race, and I know many of you are familiar with it. Those of you who can read along, please read along with me. Tiggers hates, or Tigger hates to lose. I think many of us hate to lose when we're playing games. Tigger hates to lose. Here we go. All right. One fine spring day, while bouncing beside the stream, Tigger found Pooh and his friends standing on the bridge. They were all staring into the water. What are you doing? Tigger asked. We're playing poo sticks, said Pooh. Tiggers love poo sticks, said Tigger. What's poo sticks? <laughs> It's a game, said Pooh. Get some sticks and you can play too. Tigger found some sticks and he bounced back to the bridge. The first stick to pass under the bridge wins, explained Rabbit. On your mark, get set, go. Pooh, Piglet, Rabbit, Roo, and Ehor threw their sticks into the water. Tigger decided to watch once before trying it himself. Who wants to see too? Then they all raced to the other side of the bridge to see who had won. I can see mine, Roo shouted. I win. But just as he said the words, Roo's stick spread its wings and flew up to join the other dragonflies. Can you see yours, Pooh? Piglet asked. No, Pooh replied. I expect my stick is stuck. Look, Rabbit cried. There's Eeyore's stick. Oh, joy, muttered Eeyore. I won. Step aside, Tigger said. Tiggers are great at poo sticks. Everyone moved over so that Tigger could play too. Once again, Rabbit gave the signal. On your mark, get set, go. They tossed their sticks off the bridge and then they raced to the other side. Tigger shouted, did I win? Nope, mumbled Eeyore, I did. Oh, said Tigger frowning. Well, I was just warming up. Let's play again. They played again and just like before, Eeyore's stick sailed past the others. Tiggers don't like losing, grumbled Tigger. Let's play a game. Eeyore won the next game too. Oh, goody, Eeyore said. I've won four times in a row. Eeyore won the next time and the next time and the time after that too. I just can't lose, muttered Eeyore. Tigger stamped his foot. Let's play a game, he said. Tiggers hate to lose. During the next game, at the very last moment, Eeyore's stick squeaked by Tigger's. Tigger threw down his sticks. Tigger's don't like poo sticks, he cried. Tigger walked away with his head down and no bounce at all. I'll tell you my secret, Eeyore called. You have to drop your stick in a twitchy sort of way.
pages are stuck of the new book. Tigger bounced back on the, to the bridge. This time, when he dropped his stick, Tigger made sure to twitch. And this time, Tigger's stick won. Tigger was so happy, he began bouncing again. And he bounced right into Eeyore. Wow. So there he finally won. And girls and boys, it's always important when you play a game with someone that you end the game by saying good game, or if you didn't win, I hope you say congratulations and good game too. All right, see you next time, girls and boys, for another story in the Pooh Bear series. Bye for now.